Chapter 5, Bug Bag Tuesday Dear First Grade Journal, Mr. Scary just called me in from recess. All the other children are still playing out there. He said for me to write in my journal for a minute and he will be with me soon. I keep peeking at him from behind these pages. He's printing sentences on the board. It is extra work for me, I think. I do not actually approve of this. From Junie B, first grader. Mr. Scary put down his truck. You can stop peeking at me now, Junie B, he said. I looked at him real surprised. Because that guy has eyes on the back of his hair, apparently. He turned around and smiled. Do you see these three sentences? That I just wrote up here, he asked. Yes, I said, I see them. Excellent, said Mr. Scary. Could you stand up and try reading them from back there, please? Just then my heart got pumpy and pounding inside. Because I'm not good at reading from the board, that's why. I kept on sitting there. Please, said Mr. Scary, just give it a try, okay? Finally, I stood up and I squinted at the sentences. I read real slow. Bob is a bug bag, I read. I did a teensy frown at that news. Really? I asked. Bob is a bug bag. Mr. Scary pointed to the sentence number two. Try this one, he said. I squinted some more. I like my hog spit, I read again. I looked at my teacher very curious. These sentences are oddballs, aren't they? Mr. Scary pointed at the last one. Just one more to go, he said. This time I stretched my neck and I strained my eyes. Jack is going to, to, I scrunched my eyes even smaller, to jail. I read, I did a gasp. <gasps> really? No fooling? Jack who? Mr. Scary came back to my seat. He took my hand and walked me closer to the board. Could you try and read them again from here, Junie B? He said. I made my voice real whiny. But I don't want to read them again, Mr. Scary. I told him, I already know what they say. Just one more time, he said. And so I finally did a big breath. <sighs> and I read the sentences all in a row. Bob is a big boy. I like my dog spot. Jack is going to Jill's. Covered my mouth, very surprised. <gasps> hey, what do you know? He's going to Jill's, Mr. Scary, I said. Phew, that's a relief, right? Mr. Scary laughed. Right, he said. After that, I headed for the door. Okie doke. Well, I guess I'll be getting back to recess now, I said. See ya. I waited for him to answer. He did not say see ya. I turned around. See ya. I said a little bit softer. But Mr. Scary shook his head no. Because too bad for me. He had other plans. Mr. Scary took my hand. We walked out of room one and down the hall. You and I are going to visit Mrs. Weller, Junie B, he said. 
You remember Mrs. Weller from last year, don't you? I shook my head no, because that name did not ring a bell. Mostly, I would just like to rem. Mostly, I would just like to remember recess, I said. Mr. Scary patted my shoulder. Mrs. Weller is a lovely person, he said. Recess is a lovely person, too, I said. Mrs. Weller is the school nurse, he said. I quick stopped walking. Because the school nurse is where you go when you're sick or tired. And I was totally fine. But I'm in good shape, I said. See me? I don't even need a band-aid. Mr. Scary smiled. He pulled me along again. Of course you're in good shape, June. B, he said. Mrs. Weller does lots of nice things besides giving out band-aids. Just then we walked into Mrs. Weller's office. And guess what? I remember her perfectly well. I just never knew she had a name before. Why, Junie B. Jones, she said. What a nice surprise to see you again. It's a surprise to see you too, I said, because I'm not even sick or tired. Plus, also, I'm supposed to be on the playground right now. Mrs. Weller laughed out loud, only I don't actually know why. After that, she and Mr. Scary whispered real quiet to each other. Then finally, Mr. Scary patted my shoulder. I'm going to leave you with Mrs. Weller for a while, Junie B., he said. The two of you are going to play a game with her eye chart. Okay? All of a sudden, my stomach kind of jumpy, got all jumpy, because playing a game with the nurse did not sound fun. No, I said inside my head, not okay. Mr. Scary waved. See you, he said. I watched him go. I did not say see you back. Chapter 6, The E-Game I sat in a chair next to Mrs. Weller's desk. She asked me lots of questions. First, she asked me how I liked my summer vacation. Then she asked me, how I liked first grade, and how I liked Mr. Scary. That is called stall talk, I believe. Finally, Mrs. Weller stood up. Have you noticed the eye charts I have hanging on the wall, Junie B? She asked. She pointed at them. Eye charts are posters that help us test our eyesight, she explained. I have two different kinds. See? One has alphabet letters on it, and the one right next to it is filled with funny E's. That one's called an E-chart. I looked at that funny thing. Whoa, I said. Those are the craziest E's I've ever saw. They are backwards and forwards and upside down. You're right, said Mrs. Weller. The E's are all mixed up, aren't they? And today, you and I are going to play a game with those mixed up E's. It's called the E game. After that, Mrs. Weller got a little paper cup and she showed me how to hold it over one of my eyes. We're going to be testing each of your eyes separately, she said. While one eye is hiding under the cup, the other eye will play the game, okay? I shrugged my shoulders because what choice did I have? Mrs. Weller showed me where to stand to play the E game. Then she went back to the E chart. All right, she said. Now, each time I point to one of the E's, I want you to tell me the direction it's facing. Are you ready, Junie B? I shrugged again. Then I had one eye behind the cup and Mrs. Weller pointed at the first E. I pointed my finger up. That one is facing up at the ceiling, I told her. Good, she said, excellent. I felt a little bit better inside. Mrs. Weller pointed to the next E. I 
I turned my finger down at the floor. That one is facing down, I said. Mrs. Buller smiled and nodded. I stood up taller because this wasn't as hard as I thought. After that, the nurse kept on pointing at more ease and I kept telling her which way they were facing. Right, left, down, left, up. I stopped and grinned. Hey, what do you know? I'm a breeze at this game. Right, Mrs. Weller? Right? Right? I said, I said. Mrs. Weller winked at me. We're almost done, she said. Only a few more ease to go. She pointed to a new row. There was a fuzzy smudgy next to her finger. Whoops, I said. What happened there? Did someone spill something on your chart? Mrs. Weller did a little frown. She kept pointing at the smudgy. Can you tell me anything about this mark at all, Junie B? Yes, I said, it's a smear ball. Mrs. Weller moved her finger over a little bit. What about this mark? Can you tell me anything about this one? I stared and I stared at that thing. Hmm, that one's a toughie, I said. Finally, Mrs. Weller came over to me. That's fine, she said. You did just fine, Junie B. And after that, we played the same game with my other eye. And guess what? I saw three more smudgies and a smeary. After I was done, I sat down in the chair again. Mrs. Weller said I needed glasses. I do not like Mrs. Weller.